I'm looking at an older Mercedes here whose temperature gauge recently stopped working. I mean nothing. You know, engine starts up, you, you run it, it's just zero. So what does that mean? What could it be? How could I fix the problem? I get emails like this quite often that my temperature gauge is not working or it's not, they don't think it's reading properly. What, what, what could the problem be? Well, once again, to fix this type of problem, you have to understand how the system works. You have to know what the key components are and how the gauge responds and what drives the gauge. If you don't understand the theory, it's very difficult to troubleshoot a problem like this. This is a classic example of, of troubleshooting. You know, you, you understand the theory first and then you go about a systematic process of troubleshooting the problem. So I'm looking at the engine here and I'm wondering, well, what could it be? Is there something, do I need to go buy a new gauge? Is there something wrong with the radiator? Maybe the thermostat is not working or something that's not causing the engine to heat up. But I know the engine's heat, heating up because I can feel it. So, but you don't want to drive these cars without a temperature gauge. That's very dangerous because, you know, if you blow a, a radiator hose or have a, have a coolant leak or something, you can fry an engine before you know it and you'll have no idea until you start seeing steam rolling out of the hood. So if you're having a problem with your engine temperature gauge, I highly recommend that you get it fixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time here and go through this troubleshooting process on this particular car. I'm going to do a complete step-by-step -step video on how to do this and it will be available on my website as an on-demand paid video. So if you want to find out how you can troubleshoot your own, you know, <laughs> gauge problems that you might be having, be sure and check out that video on my website.